Greetings everyone, Cowman here, and welcome to episode 127 of Minecraft Alpha to 1.17. So in this video, as per always, we're going to be adding someone to the shout-out garden. And today, it's been a while since I've actually made a video, so we've got quite a few shout-outs to give in the next few videos. I have to deal with this guy first, though. And... Um, with two. And yeah, you can see there's an engine around here, and you can see it there as well. I think we will need to be doing a repair mission on that soon. We might do that in the next video actually, but obviously not in this video, because I've always got some stuff planned. So anyway, today to the shouting gun, we are going to be adding Huggle and Worth I. Yeah, that's because of a really lovely comment that they left on one of my videos. It was actually the tutorial one, where basically they said that they found my tutorials very useful, and that it was giving place you take to find it and well obviously while there were other stories that you could watch that you chose to watch mine means a lot to me so for that reason i would like to thank you for watching that tutorial find it useful and here is your shout out so in today's video what we're going to be working on is the cactus clock which is that really big tall building up there that you can see some cactuses in but yeah we're going to be working on the, the clock part of it a bit more today but yeah we won't get it done today i am basically 100 percent certain about that because we also do have some other things planned for this video, which you'll probably see a bit later in the video. So, first of all, we're going to need to go all the way up to the top, and then we can actually start working on what we need to be working on. And yeah, so just need to climb all the way up here. Yeah, one of these days, I probably will actually create a piston lift here. Here, yeah, or scaffolding, because that might be a little bit quicker, or ladders, but... Yeah, for now, I'm just stuck with boring stairs. And we will work on this on the carpet a bit more soon. Um, but not on this video, unfortunately. You know, today, the main focus is this area. This is basically where the clock itself is going to be, because it is called the Cactus Clock, after all. So, what we're going to be working on first, is we're going to be building a little bit of, like, the sort of clock face hold if you get it like basically like where like we're going to be forming like this outer layer and then basically on the inside this this is basically where the clock face is going to be and i also think you need to be quite careful here just because well you can kind of see crap what is so and he, uh, first we're going to need to work out how much we're going to build here so basically we need to build three blocks up here so that's one more here and we're also going to need to build two more blocks on the other side so one two and three there we go so now what we need to do is we need to start working on the closing section where like this sort of thing is going to close so we need to do it on both sides obviously we might actually need to do it one side completely at a time though because I think doing it like this, well, yeah, I'm just going to get a bit wet up here. And, yeah, by wet, I mean damp, soaked, basically. So, it's, and I think the best way of doing this would actually be to use dirt here. And obviously, I will get rid of this dirt. I'm not obviously not going to leave this here in the final build because it was a bit, you know, disgusting. There we go. So now this. It, it needs to go out by one more block here, and the same on this side. And now this is a bit where it's now merged. So first we're going to need to create a few more planks. And put it all the way across, and we need to put one more block, more layer up as well. And after this, we now need a full layer of logs. Because this basically where it's going to close up. I'm going to quickly see if this is, if we're going to be a fit on the roof, but I don't think so. So I think we're going to have to have a flat roof for now. Although uh, we're not too far from 1.2, and now with the update in which the height limit got raised from 128 to 256, so it will be quite good soon. But I think for now we're going to have to put up with looking a little bit ugly with a flat roof. Yeah, this is 1.0 by the way, in case you haven't noticed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go around and this whole structure 
and put this top layer of logs up. And I think we're going to have enough logs for that, so we might not have enough enough wood for, you know, for the clock faces. And we're obviously not going to be on the clock face today just because they don't have any wool on me. So yeah, that's a little bit annoying. And in fact, the wool and the clock faces, they're probably not even going to be made out of white wool, which they really should be, just because I don't think I'm going to have enough of it. Just because you know, this is before more sheep we grew, knew their wool. So basically, like, for one sheep that's two to four wool, not unlimited in theory. how it needs to be. So yeah, we can, we can just go ahead at full speed. So obviously first it needs to be two blocks completely like this. And then after this it needs to be first five blocks, then four blocks, then three blocks, then two blocks of three, then go in again. So it needs to be five, five blocks here. One, two, three, four, five. And then on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And now it needs to be four blocks, one, two, three, four. And on this side, one, two, three, four. Now three on this one, three. And one, two, three. And two here. Three blocks, there we go. Two on that side. And there we go, good. By the way, actually, in case any of you are wondering what we're going to do with that lighthouse, I probably will eventually complete it, but probably not until sheep regrow their wool because. It's just really difficult to get red wool. So yeah, that's why I haven't been working on it. Yeah, no, we've been working on it for way too long and it's been like that for like maybe like 10 videos now or something. But I will get there with that eventually, don't worry. I'm not gonna leave it stuck in the peak forever. So anyway, this one's four blocks. And this one is five blocks, good. I think the best way to get down now is first we're going to need to do some water and then we'll have to build it on this side and then what we'll do is we'll probably build the top section and probably from there uh, and then we'll probably go down from that side it's a bit awkward here just because you know there's not like you know, some open air up there So now let's just build the same thing on this side. So there we go, it's four blocks, and now five blocks. I think we are going to have to do the same dirt thing. I will get rid of this probably after the video though, so don't worry about that. So even on that side. And now we can do it like this. I need to make sure I keep my water on me. And there we go, good. So now that is two two faces completed, almost completed. You know, what's the sun like? I think we'll go down in a few minutes, so I think this will be a perfect time to move on to what we're going to be doing next in this video. And that is going to be we are going to be going in, in on a mob hunt. Basically, because I want to enchant some more things, then you need XP for that, and like you need lots of XP for it. It's not like just like a level requirement. You basically, na you need that m number of levels. So basically, like if an enchantment says it costs 50 levels, then like you're losing 50 levels literally. Yeah, it's not like just like you'll lose three levels. So yeah, based on that, we're gonna need a lot more XP so we can actually enchant some more equipment. 
and then oh. that's why we're going on an adventure. So I think what we're going to need first is some shears, because I think we will need some wool on this adventure, just so, you know, we can actually get some ready for that thing. And you haven't really seen it from the ground yet, and it looks a bit ugly right now, but it will look a bit better soon, even when we have, have a clock in there. So I do have ink sacks on me, so that is good. But what I'm now going to need is some shears, and luckily I think I've got quite a lot of iron up here. So, uh, I think it's in this one. Yep, got a little bit, only three actually though. What we might do actually while we're out is maybe I'll just put some smelt in. So there we go, there's enough coal, I think. So, okay, let's quickly just leave it out in while we're gone. And then we're going to need some new shears. And there we go, so I think that's now everything we're going to need. Actually, I think we might need some green, green dye actually. You know, just so we can actually get some more. Or, or green wool for the flooring in the observation deck. And I think that's actually on this floor. Also, is it in this one? No, not that one either. Oh god, I can't remember where I put it in. No, I've got way too much. So. I'm not sure where it is, so what I will do is I'm actually going to melt them down then. And I'm not wasting in coal on this, so we'll just use wood. Yeah, I need some pork up here, so that's quite nice. So, we need cactus. And I think we're going to need about 10 in there, just because it's like 1.5 block. No, not block. Items per block of, of wood. Anyway, while this is going, I'm actually trying to kill a few mobs, in, mobs nearby. And then we'll probably go and grab what have that die, and then we'll probably go off in that direction. I think that's probably the best direction because that's the newest terrain. And cause I think quite a lot of this is so like the biome changed and I think it's too cold for mobs to spawn here. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Hey, but yeah, I don't think it's dark enough yet. So no, I know what we could do probably right now. So let's actually go and get some cobblestone, and then we can actually do a little bit of repair work on this thing. We're not going to be able to, com need to completely fix that structure, not yet, just because, well, it's just, it's just too damaged a bit. Yeah, but we will be able to do some work. I think basically to fully repair the structure, we're going to need to probably replace all of that wood with cobblestone, and that's just too much effort, but we can do some of these holes, just so it's up and running again, partly. I think I've got enough cobblestone for that. And I think it's in this one, there we go, a little bit of cobblestone. And so let's go and deal with this now then. I think what I will do actually when I'm repairing this is I might actually build like like a land bridge across the top here, just to make it a little bit easier to access so you don't have to like go swimming. Because that's a bit inefficient. Grief, actually, I didn't realise that Ender could actually pick up cobblestone there. But I think it might be a little bit hard for them to pick up, so we're going to use that anyway. So there we go. Now let's see if we can repair anything up here. Or at least find out where that's going wrong up here. Let's see where. Outside. And I think it's right here. So there we go. But at least now more should actually die when it's falling out of that thing. Right, and so yeah, actually, I actually didn't quite realise that they actually picked up some cobblestone, so actually, I might need to devise some bigger plans for that. So yeah, maybe you've got quite a big project coming up. Anyway, I think now what we can do is we will go and get that green dye and then we'll, and we will start adventuring out. Hey. Actually, I didn't need that iron though. No. Oh yeah, my inventory is completely full up though. Uh, so... Oh, I'm, gonna, not gonna, I'm not gonna need that bottom flesh, I'm gonna need that wheat or that string. So. Yeah, that's good. No, thank you skeleton, right. So I think what we can do is we'll actually use this nether bridge. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, and then we can actually burn some stuff on here. So we'll need to shoot these guys first. Yeah, I think they must be defending the nether portal, I imagine. Quickly shoot that guy. There we go. Dealt with. And that guy. He also needs to be shot. Goodbye, Creeper. Dealt with. There we go. Anyway, so what we're not going to need here, so... I don't think we're going to need this gunpowder. Not going to need this rotten flesh. Not going to need those shears. Might need some of that dirt. Not going to need these destroyed swords there, so there we go. I think we can actually get going now. Although we will need to make sure we can dodge that guy. Actually, I think what we should do is actually should actually need to make some armour. Yeah, hey, that's what's nice about having, having, having that iron on me by mistake. Sometimes mistakes can be quite beneficial overall. So, there we go. Good. Just jump into this in here. Yeah, and this is a bit of rubbish old leather armour. By the way, in case you know, the way I actually got all this leather armour was actually back before like the leather even existed. Basically, I made all this out of wool. Uh, and basically, then they changed it so it had to be made out of leather, obviously, but it didn't take away anything that you've made out of wool. It's quite convenient, actually. Yeah, I actually did that though when I was in, in like alpha and save the series, in case you didn't know. I think we should finally get going now. Let's get away from here before we have a creeper explosion. Anyway, so I've got a creeper invasion first. Oh god. Um, let's see, there we go. That's actually why I've got fire aspects on, it's quite useful in that like it can inflict a little bit of extra damage on, on the mob while you're killing them. Yeah, there's any enchantments I do particularly recommend you get, so I would actually definitely recommend fire higher aspect, or even better if you can get it. Yeah, this is only fire aspect one, but I think there's also a level two which is even better. out here then. And I think what we might actually do is might actually go to my other house actually. Yeah, no for you most of you don't know about it because it's only been featured in like one video. But I've actually got another house that I built like way out of here. Basically it was when I was like adventuring out out one video and basically I wanted a small shelter there so I just basically built like make a small replica of my house. So by house I mean like my house in its original form. Yeah you know, like I guess you you want to see what, it, what I mean by that is go back to episode 1 and you'll see what my house originally looked like. Like an overall, it's trying to kind of base it on that. So I see a few torches there, so it's definitely a promising sign. That was always going to happen, though, to be honest. Red out. Just so I'm ready in case I can hurt. Pun intended, obviously, there. Kill these creepers while we're here as well. Oh, and this guy, if I get a critical hit, there we go. If you didn't know how to, get, how to get a critical hit, by the way, I think we have to, have to do it while falling. Obviously not jumping, which I think is a common misconception. Let's do it this one side as well. And then, second explosion in this video though. 
And it's kind of, kind of quite useful there, to have those explosions and those holes in the ground, because it actually can kind of mark where you've been. And ha! See that thing? That's my house. And that is where we're going to be staying in this video. I'll be dealt with that guy. I think there's an enderman there as well, so we're going to be able to with that guy. So I have all poisons from the end dragon in the series, and obviously you need ender poles for that. So, once we get a very good start, we're going to get ender poles quite early on. how glitchy this land is. Yeah, I'm going to use sticks as ridiculous cliff. No, not cliff. It's cliff. <laughs> I don't know why I was messing up my words so much there. It's actually quite, really quite a useful place to build in the future, perhaps. Just because it is in this world to be flat. Yeah, like, obviously, like, there's quite a big lake here, and it's actually quite a decent idea, I think, to actually build on the lake. Just because, like, you only need, like, some dirt. You don't need to, like, completely destroy a mountain to get the some flat land. Climb up here then. See if there's anything in the chests up here, just in case. You know, there is. Fine chance. Uh, yeah, I kind of doubt it though. Let's see, anyway. Oh, yeah, you can see how, how uh, it's been quite a while since I've been here. The chest is dark. And basically the reason why that is, is basically, and you might remember this if you've seen some earlier episodes in the series, but the chest used to be a full block, but now they're a bit smaller than the block, which they reduced in what, beta 1.8, but like, you know, in the conversion, like, they get a bit glitchy. So if you want to sort it out, all you have to do is place a torch, and boom! Perfect. Yeah, no, radical, radical piece of advice, I think. But yeah, that's what really you need. That might bring that, bring that, that stuff there. Yeah, so let's quickly see if there's any, any more decent lands over here that I might see some sheep on. So let's quickly get my nice new sheep stuff ready. I do kind of doubt it though, just because, you know, it seems like, like on older terrain, like there's not as many sheep that spawn, but like on newer terrain, there's dozens. Yeah, and you can obviously tell this is older based on like grass color. I think this is actually a desert biome. This is, I know it doesn't look like a desert, obviously. That's just because like the biome kind of changed in like the terrain we write. Yes, basically, like in, in case you know, in beta 1.8, they did that made the terrain we write. Yeah, so like, I just had the same thing in 1.18, I think it was. Yeah, for those of you who are watching, what the way future of mine was. See if we can see any. If we can, that's a pretty good place to actually explore the next video. And I will see you in episode 128. Bye guys.